I teach you guys how to do synthetic division when you get no remainder? All right, let's look at our first example. It says x to the fourth power plus 12x cubed plus 24x squared minus 65 minus 8, that's my dividend, divided by x plus 8, which is my divisor. So go ahead and pause the video, copy this down so you know exactly how we're going to write our solution. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to do, take your divisor, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. So in this case, I'm going to have to subtract 8 from both sides, and then that will give me x equals negative 8. Negative 8 is considered my root. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up my synthetic division with a box, put negative 8 in that box since that's my root, and then I'm going to write out all the coefficients of the dividend. And let me go back to the original problem to show you where I got those numbers from. There's an imaginary 1 in front of that x to the fourth power, so that was my first coefficient, and then the 12, 24, negative 65, and my constant negative 8. That's where those coefficients came from. All right, first thing you're going to do is bring down your first number, which is 1. And, like I said in the previous video, you're going to multiply, then add straight down. Multiply, then add straight down. I'm going to multiply 1 times my root, which is negative 8. So 1 times negative 8 gives me negative 8. So I'll write that number under my second coefficient. Then add straight down. 12 plus negative 8 gives me positive 4. So now I'm going to multiply, then add straight down. So I'm multiplying the 4 times my root. 4 times negative 8 gives me negative 32. So I will write that negative 32 under the, second, uh, the next coefficient. Now I'm going to add straight down. 24 plus negative 32 equals negative 8. Now I'm going to multiply that negative 8 times my root. Negative 8 times negative 8 gives me positive 64. So I'm going to write positive 64 under the next coefficient. Then I'm going to add straight down. Negative 65 plus positive 64 equals negative 1. And now I'm going to multiply that negative 1 times my root. Negative 1 times negative 8 gives me a positive 8. So I'll write positive 8 under the next coefficient. And then add straight down. Negative 8 plus positive 8 equals 0. And since I don't have any other numbers to multiply, then add straight down. I'm done. And just like I said in the previous video, the last number is supposed to represent your remainder, but you don't have a remainder. So when you write out your final answer, you won't have to do that last part that says remainder over divisor. All right, looking at the original problem, as you can see in your dividend, the highest degree was 4. 1 less than 4 is 3. So when you write in your variables after your Numbers in your solution, you're going to start with x to the power of 3, count down to x to the power of 2, count down to x to the power of 1, and then, of course, no variable because that will be your constant. So let me show you how you're going to write your answer out. You're going to start off with x to the power of 3, then x to the power of 2, then x, and your last number is a constant. So when you write out your final solution, your quotient is going to be x cubed plus 4x squared minus 8x minus 1. And since you don't have remainder, you don't put anything over the divisor. So that's it!